Do me a favor. Well, I can probably leave. Never mind. Geez, flying through the parking lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, now come here so you can hang this up. I don't need my sunglasses, too. Mine took a gallon and a half, and yours took, um... Half a gallon. Point six. Yeah, half a gallon. Well, I figured I'd go ahead and put some in mine since we were already putting some in yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you also do not have a, uh, fuel, a fuel gauge. gauge. No. Okay. You ready? Yep. I'm still in neutral. Hello. Going. getting in between a gear. It's not that I'm in neutral, it's like in between a gear. Huh. That's good. Hey YouTube, it's Moto Batman. And this is Moto Batman. And today, it's uh, Wednesday, and the girls are in school, and Mr. Moto Batman is off, and we're taking a bike out for a ride. Not anything real special or exciting. We're going to Starbucks. Well, of course it's double points day, so we might as well go to Starbucks and uh, go ahead and get coffee and enjoy some additional points. That's right. By the way, you got free uh, Starbucks the last time we went. Oh, cool. Yeah, for how many times we go there, we build up our points. Nice more. But anyway, obviously this is a road you guys have seen me take before, but we're going to turn and go, turn off of this road uh, and head to Concord, Ohio, or as they say around here, Concord. Um, and, and it's one of those funny things. Because I get people to argue with me about how it's pronounced, but as I've said in videos in the past, I used to live in Rhode Island, That's where I lived when I graduated from high school. Well, you you have a couple of little towns in Massachusetts that some of you might have heard of, and that's Lexington and Concord. You know, the whole shop heard heard around the world the start of the American Revolutionary War, and I also lived in North Carolina and used to go to the, uh, the NASCAR races in Charlotte, which actually aren't in Charlotte. They're actually in Concord, North Carolina. Truck guy. Yep. Stopping. He's uh, backing in the yep. driveway. Well, at least he did it quick. Yeah. But anyway... Um, Concord, North Carolina also has a town right by it, Lexington, North Carolina. Now, both Concord, North Carolina and 
Concord, Ohio, are both named after the town in Massachusetts, Concord. So my question is, if in Massachusetts they pronounce Concord, Concord, and you named your town in Ohio after that town, why then would you pronounce the name of the town the same way? Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Just wanted to also say, and get Mrs. Photo Batman to chime in on this, and that uh, we watched uh, Mama Mafia live stream the other night. Oh, sex, dress, and rock and roll. <laughs> It's quite entertaining to watch. Um, the girls really seemed like they had a fun time. Uh, I enjoyed it. I did not get a chance to uh, comment as many on as many things as I had my own verbal comments for, but because uh, it seemed like the screen kind of went pretty quick on the comments. So sometimes when I was getting ready to type something, I was like, oh, well, I'm behind. So I just moved on. But I, it was really entertaining. I really liked it. I thought that the girls had a good time. It was a, a nice, nice to watch. Um, definitely entertaining with the whole conversation with sex. See where everybody went right away. Well, and, and there, there was to the the conversation about women riders and is there an expectation that they dress differently, especially the female motor vloggers than the guys. Um, and while we were watching it, um, I was, we were watching it on TV at Mrs. Moto Matman using a fire stick and Mrs. Moto Matman going, had it. We're going last to remember. Yep. Had it, uh, up on her computer. Um, I was actually editing videos on my computer. So I was only watching it on, on the TV. So I, I didn't have the means to comment, but I, I did want to make some comments now. Um, number one, I'll be perfectly honest, as a red-blooded American guy, I think women on bikes are sexy in general. You don't need to do anything differently um, to look sexy on a bike. Um, you know, while we were watching it, I, I mentioned, you know, there, to Mrs. Moto Madman, because the thing, part of the thing was, do you need to be sexy in the way that you dress and wear skimpy clothes and stuff in order for a female moto blogger to get viewers? And, and I pointed out to Mrs. Moto Madman that uh, Kat from It's Cat Cam um, has 173,000 viewers and she rides a sport bike. Well, it's a whole lot more common in the sport bike world to see people with riders with armor everything. Um, and Pat had done a, a video about um, her jeans, the ugly bros jeans, and uh, they were armored, and that uh, she had gone down on her bike with them on and everything else. But the, the point I'm trying to make is, and they survived, and she still wears them. And actually, I think ugly bros gave her a new pair when they saw that. But anyway, the main point of that was the fact that when she's out on her bike, she's got a leather jacket on or a textile jacket with armor and jeans that have built-in armor and actual sport bike riding boots and gloves and everything else. I mean, so she's totally covered from head to toe. Uh, but yet she has 173,000 subs. So I don't think that the female motor waters need to go down that route to try to be overly sexy, you know, over the top kind of thing. Um, 
in their videos or when they're out riding because while it may get you a little bump in viewership and maybe subs you have to stay that way or you'll lose those subs that you gain and you may actually lose some of the your regular subs it's up to you just because of your personality and your motorcycle content you may lose them because they may be uncomfortable with the fact that you're trying to reach out for subs by wearing skipping clothes. But anyway, do you have anything for that, Al? Uh, no, I just I agree. We had that discussion when it was going on, and uh, you know, I I think. You know, not to attack you, but I think I'm sexy and cute just just because I am me. Just because I think everyone is sexy and cute in their own way. So I don't think you have to. Now, there's, you know, if it's hot out, do I wear a tank top and everything else? Heck yeah. Do I ride in just a tank top? I do not. But uh, that's just my personal preference. <laughs> I go around the corner. Well, you ride with a tank top on underneath your your jacket under underneath my armor jacket yes i do um i also know people that don't want to ride at all because they have kids and they worry about not coming home well i take the necessary precautions my helmet and everything so that i do come home maybe no matter what but anyway that's not the point yeah that's a whole other subject because you can make that same argument about just driving your car to work right now, what right, but I also don't think that I need to do anything any different to get stuff or to try to get stuff like that. I just don't. Oh, well, and, and it's one of those things, too. While we were sitting there watching um, and talking, I, I mentioned to Mrs. Moto Batman, one of the other things was, it's like scrolling through Instagram, the pictures that, that stand out to me, the pictures, Female motorcycle riders. I mean, the ones that actually ride. I mean, you've got the, the pictures of the choppers and stuff with the models that I've seen them that had chaps on and they had the chaps on backwards. You know, I, I'm not talking about those pictures. I'm talking about the pictures of, of the women that actually ride. I'll be honest with you, and I was with this photo map man. The pictures that draw me in the quickest are actually the, the pictures like the selfies that the women take where they've got their helmet on and really the only thing you can see is their eyes. You know, and their eyes being done up and how their eyes pop from inside the helmet. Um, you know, which for all, for all I know, they could be in their PJs or sweats or have a parka on and snow pants yeah. in that picture because all you're seeing is the helmet with their face. You know, you can obviously tell that it's a female because of the eyes. But Those are the pictures that I notice and stop on and, and throw a light to quicker than any of the other ones. I mean, unless, unless they got a sweet looking bike. And then that, I'll, I'll be honest, as strange as it sounds, um, I'll notice that first, you know, especially if it's something, a bike that's out of the ordinary or some kind of exotic bike, you know. Just, you know, I missed our turn wherever we were supposed to turn, so we're just going. Okay. I'm going to do a roundabout way to get there. Okay. Well, I'm, I figure we'll make it eventually to Starbucks. You just got to remember that I'm on the sporty, so I have no clock. Not only do I not have a fuel gauge, I have no clock. 
Yep. And I mentioned the clock because it's picking up the girls. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're more on our way to the... I guess we're going to go all the way up and, and turn left. Well, it says I can turn left up here at this one road, but I don't know this road, and that's the problem is. But living out here in the country like we do, you come across roads that are not always paved, or they could be chip and steel. So uh -huh. I don't know what the road will be like. So I'm just going to head on up. You know, that one started out okay, but I don't know. I don't know what it'll end up being. Yeah, well, it, it kind of, the pavement at, at first glance looked okay, but it did kind of have the impression of, like, elephant hide. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. And, yeah, um, anybody that, that has seen our dual vlog where we went to the end of the commons will know about some of the roads. That road, I don't even know what the deal was with that road. And then, I, I don't know. And then, of course, you have the, the video where I was riding around past the wineries, and all of a sudden there was a road that, that was talking about one-lane bridge ahead, and on the other side of the one-lane bridge, it went from pavement to gravel as soon as you crossed the bridge. But, yeah, we, we have that quite a bit. Not necessarily as drastic as that. Normally there's a warning where it says unpaved surface ahead. Yeah. That road did not have it. But I swear on that road, there was, I, I don't know if anybody saw it, but when I was going down the hill and approaching that bridge, there was a house down on the right-hand side, and there, there was an old guy out there with... Roadkill. Yep, I see it, thank you. With uh, a bunch of kids out there as well. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, it must have been the fact that I had my helmet on that I couldn't hear the banjos playing because it kind of gave me the impression that uh, I was going somewhere that I shouldn't be going based on the look the guy was, was giving me. And, and I'll be honest, I, I, for the life of me, all of a sudden, I can't remember... The name of that movie is right on the tip of my tongue. Um, with the, well, chances it, are it's either a movie I've never seen or I saw parts of it. No, you've never seen it. Oh, is it uh, scary? Yeah, kind of. Okay, then yeah, I wouldn't have seen it. I'll, I'll probably remember it. Like I said, it's, I, I had it in my head as I was starting to, to talk, but then I forgot it, and it's, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. Um, you know, but there's, there's a specific movie that banjo music is associated with, um, and danger. And I, I'm sure if I can't think of it by the time we get to Starbucks, Somebody will leave the name in, in the top. But anyway. Going left. Yep. This is kind of the route that uh, we used to take our daughter for uh, softball in the wintertime when we have to work out inside. The, the indoor practice facility that uh, the organization has. And I say used to because we just are in the process. The organization is in the process of moving uh, to a larger practice, indoor practice facility. Okay, so to the right, I would say after the trash truck. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. Yeah, there's nothing okay. coming. There's nothing so I'm going to go. Yep. But that indoor practice facility is somewhere that, huh, it's a shift. That indoor practice facility is someplace that we would go take, take our oldest daughter to three times a week during 
during the cold and and dark months because typically actually the girls start practicing inside um, before it gets cold because it gets dark so soon. You know, if it gets dark at six o'clock, it's kind of have hard to have practice outside during the week. You know, it starts. At Just a shifter pad to hit my foot from the leg. Well, no matter what, it's a different ride. It's yes. just you. We're not coming back this way, I can tell you that. No. But right now we're we're in this is Concord or Concord. No, I guess we're still in Painesville. We're, we're in Painesville. Painesville. Yeah, we're in Painesville. Which it's is, windy today, don't you think? Well Yeah. Which explains one of the reasons why I didn't debate about what bike I was taking. Yeah. That and the fact that the... Uh, I guess I should slow down. The VFR needs a... Needs a new front tire. I have the tire. I just have to get the front wheel off and... Is he messing with me? Is that why he, like, slammed on his brake? The, the truck? No, we just passed the deputy sheriff. Oh, I didn't even see them. Yeah, Deputy Sheriff sitting on the right side of the road. That's I why I figured he slammed on the brake. I just oh. saw it. Sorry. No, he slammed on his brakes, so I backed off and realized I was going 50 following him in a 35. Like, well, I was pushing him. That's why That's why he slammed on those brakes. Oh, good because, call there, dude, because I was just moving right along. We're getting in the left-hand lane. Hi. Thank you. We didn't even see the deputies in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Did you see the, we just passed another one? Uh-uh. Yeah, it was over on the left-hand side. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you need white walls. Okay, we're going. Alright. Have I ever been on, like, an expressway before? Yes. Uh -oh. we, took, we took 44 to go to Starbucks before. Okay. So the whole reason why we took this route was because the other route that we would have taken has this really steep turn on a hill and it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not quite ready for it. It well, makes me nervous. It makes me sweat just thinking about it because, you know, you, you gotta go, it's practically straight up while you're turning and it's much quicker to take that way. I take that way all the time in the car. But on the bike, it just, it worries me. And yeah, I know, I say it all the time. I'm a newer rider, and that kind of stuff just makes me nervous. Well, just so you know, you took that hill in the rain. I know I did. To take your bike. So if you could do it in the rain, I know I did, and let me tell you what, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Well, uh, you know, my point is, is, that was a year ago, and it's not raining. I know. But you're also only going to... What? I was going to run you over. You were only going 50. You I'm who normally... i through here. Why? I'm getting over to the left. 45 through here. I was going 55, but I decided I no longer had my my crash buddy up in front of me to keep me slow. Okay. Okay. That's why I was trying not to exceed 10 over.
now we're in Concord. Yes. Or Concord. Yeah. To me, Concord is a plane, and the spelling ends it with an E, or it was a plane. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this okay. town, this town, it ends with a D. What? The spelling of Concord oh. ends in a D, not in an E. Okay. And last I checked, uh, this town is not going to go anywhere at uh, the speed of sound. Oh. Like the plane. Like the plane? Yeah. Okay. See, that was nice, but, like, the trash guy, like, blowing up, he did it on purpose. Like, what we were thinking oh, yeah. he was doing, he actually was doing, because, you know, it's a motorcycle community where, you know, he stopped at the light and you know, commented to us, which yeah. that's one of those things I just really like. Yep. There's a lot of red. Red cars, red trucks, red car caller. Red light. Red light. Red Jeep coming. Like all of a sudden everything became red and white. Green. All right, here we go. Oh, Allison has never done this before. All right, got to adjust the angle of that shifter bag. Boy, it is a good thing that we got gas before we left. Left blinker, please. Oh, yep. Like anybody can see my blinkers on this bike anyway. Well. <laughs> oh, where did you want to park? Hey, I don't hey, know. hey, hey, hey. You gotta pay attention there, Slick. You can park next to the V-Strom. Ah, <sighs> you said that too late for me. Well, I don't know where the hell you're going to go. I don't know. I'm going to park over here. It's, that's rude. What? Okay. No, you're going to turn around, you're going to go back by that other bike. Oh, is that what you want me to do? That's exactly what I want you to do. Okay. So you don't you seem do. rude. Especially since you're on a Harley. You don't okay. want to give that impression. Doesn't everybody know that I don't park real well? Oh, my God. Exactly. I know. You say this to me all the time. That's not how I would have done it. You have to think it through first. Yay, we made it. Yeah, we're going to take a free parking spot. Yeah. I just wanted to do a little quick thing here. When, when I said about my turn signals, and like anybody could see them, that's eh, my little bitty turn signal. <laughs> and on the other side, I just hate the, hate the way turn signals look. I still have the big monster ones. But anyway, in case we don't video on the way back, uh, eh, lost my glove. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's right there. Anyway. Um, we'll cut it off here. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you click the like and subscribe button and punch that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload any new content. And as always, if you get out on two, make sure you keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. Leave a little sparkle everywhere you go.